Within releases of SOLIDWORKS prior to 2018, a gap in functionality existed when working with 3D sketches. Symmetry could never be defined. This meant symmetrical shapes built up from 3D sketches were either a lengthy process to create, each sketch item would have to be independently drawn, or symmetry would have to sometimes be defined at feature level, which wasn't always as effective within models. Highly requested piece of functionality was the ability to mirror in 3D sketches. And following this feedback, SOLIDWORKS have integrated the ability to mirror in 3D sketches into the 2018 release of the software. It enables the creation of complex sketches very simply. We'll look at the workflow for this great bit of functionality in this short video. I'm going to start by mirroring a partially created sketch. Rather than the center line used for mirroring, planes are used to create 3D sketch mirrors. The mirror tool is the same as before. Access from the sketch toolbar. All that we need to do is define the entities to mirror and the sketch plane to mirror around, which is selected in the lower box. I'm now going to repeat the process to complete my sketch, mirroring around the front plane this time. You will notice that the lines crossing the center will be merged where they lie perpendicular to our plane. This is one of the main advantages of this functionality when we compare it to retrospectively mirroring using the mirror feature. It means that wellment profiles will continue across center planes rather than having a break where two lines meet, for example. Okay, I'm now going to complete the sketch with a few dimensions. Now, using Instant 2D, we can see that symmetry is maintained when making a change. The functionality will work the same as in a 2D sketch. Symmetric relations are used to define the locations for sketch entities. It's worth noting that the ability to mirror around planes will also work in 2D sketches. This functionality will allow you to build up extremely complex sketches very quickly. So keep this in mind when building up 3D sketches. My advice would be, this functionality will work best if complex sketches can be broken up into several independent ones, making things a little bit simpler. Give this tool a go, it's a great addition to the software for 2018. Thanks very much for watching. Thank you.